If you're a GarageBand for iOS user who's made the jump to Logic Pro for iPad but aren't sure how to take your project files with you, in this video I'll show you how. So I'm in Logic Pro just now and the first thing I'm going to do on this screen is hit cancel. Doing this will take me back to the file browser. Depending on where you have your GarageBand for iOS projects saved, you want to select either iCloud Drive or On My iPad in the Locations menu in the sidebar here. The GarageBand project I want to open is saved to my iPad, so I'll select the On My iPad option. From here I need to find my GarageBand for iOS folder. Then inside that, the project file I want to open in Logic Pro for iPad. I want to open this project I created to demo the sounds that came with the recent Pom Pom producer pack. Tapping on the project file throws up this message, where I'm informed that a Logic Pro compatible duplicate of my GarageBand project file will be created. When I hit create, the Logic Pro project file is created, it opens, and I'm able to jump right in and continue where I left off from in GarageBand. A couple of things to note here, although GarageBand for iOS and Logic Pro for iPad have the same sound and producer packs available, the two apps don't actually share a sound library, meaning if you try to open a project that includes loops or instruments from a producer pack that you don't currently have installed in the Logic Pro for iPad app, you'll be prompted to do so before continuing. Third-party instrument effect apps, however, will transfer over without issue 99.99% of the time. If it's compatible with GarageBand, it's more than likely going to be compatible with Logic Pro for iPad as well. If you're coming to Logic Pro for iPad from GarageBand and you're looking for some guidance about how to get up and running with the app, watch this next. 